Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a Design Spark mechanical tutorial and I'm going to be showing you how to make a um, coaster, a, a spider web coaster. But we're also going to be using Corel Draw and I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and uh, uh, trace a, do a detailed trace on an actual logo. So first we're going to open up Corel Draw and then we'll go ahead and go to File. We'll create a new 10 by 10 document. And then we're going to go in here, file, and then we're going to go import. And then we're going to open up our spider web folder. We'll double click on this. This is a really big uh, graphic, so I have to scale it down quite a bit. So we're going to um, we're going to switch our measurement over from inches to millimeters. And to do that in Corel, you just want to right mouse click on your um, ruler and say ruler setup. And then go in this middle section here from units, change that from inches to millimeters, and then click OK. Now we'll select all to grab the logo. And then um, you can see it's 10,200 uh, millimeters, so we just want to do 100. So do 100, tab 100. And then to put it in the middle of the, bo the uh, page instead of having to uh, make the page small and find it, just hit P on your uh, keyboard as long as the graphic is selected no matter where it is on the page if you hit P as in Paul on the keyboard it'll go right to the center so we're gonna go ahead and zoom in on this we'll do a couple of control pluses now we want to um, trace this I want to make this uh, spider web coaster 100 millimeters so we're gonna go right mouse click on this we're gonna do an edit trait uh, Outline trace, we'll do detail logo, and then we'll wait till that's all done. We'll click OK, and then we're going to drag this. The top one is always going to be the traced one, and the bottom one will be our uh, vector or actually raster. I'm sorry. So we'll go to normal, and the, the way you can tell is if you go to your view, go to wireframe, you can see that this one is uh, traced, this one is the untraced one. So we'll get rid of that. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, put that in the center and then uh, we want to control plus so we're zoomed in a little closer we want to grab our circle tool and we want to come from the center hold down the shift and control to constrain and we're going to do a circle out here and we're going to double click inside of here do 120 tab 120 so we're going to make a 120 millimeter circle we'll select to click off now we're going to grab the circle again go from the center Hold down the, those same keys, shift and control to constrain. We're going to highlight that. We're going to put 105 there, tab 105. Okay, we got those here. Now we're going to go ahead and select this one here. We want to trim it. So we're going to come over to our weld tools, select trim, and we want to hit trim, and then we want to trim it away from the bigger circle. Then we want to click and actually undo that. Let's click off of it. Let's click. Actually, let's just move this out of the way. We can hit P to move it back in there and get rid of this one. So delete, and then we'll go ahead and select here. Hit P. Now we have that in there. Now we want to weld this to the to the out, outer line or outer circle. So we're going to change that trim back to weld. We're going to click on weld. Just click right there. Okay, so now we have our basic shape. Uh, 100 mil 120 millimeter coaster that we want to make for beer. Now we're going to go view normal. Now we just need to select it and come over here and just click black to make it black. I think I might want to make this overall 100 so we're going to select that up there and type 100 100. 100 for the bottom one. 120 might be too big so your beer is going to rest on the, the web. So we'll go ahead and come up here we want to export this so we'll select the graphic we'll go to export we're going to change the save as type to SVG if it's not already on there. And we can just call this a web. We'll click on the desktop. We'll make sure that selected only box is checked. And then we'll go ahead and hit export. We'll go ahead and go OK to there. And then we want to minimize. Okay, now we want to open up FreeCAD. This is a free program. It's a good program to get if you, ha if you don't already have it. It's free to download. Um, a little bit of a steep learning curve to learn how to use it. but 
I, I only really used it to convert files. So we'll go ahead and create new there. We're going to click that create new. Now we're going to drag our SVG mm -hmm. file in here. And we're going to check this little circle here that says SVG as geometry. So we're opening this SVG as geometry. So we'll select. Now we want to do a control all which selects everything. Now we want to come up here to file. We want to go down to export. And we want to make sure it's a step file. We could just call this uh, final one spider web on the desktop. We'll select save. Okay, it takes a second to get there. Now we'll go ahead and minimize this. Now we're going to open up Design Spark. We're going to be doing this in millimeters. So if you want to follow along, you could go ahead and make sure your uh, Design Spark mechanical is in millimeters and not in inches. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and go new, new design. We're going to change it. We're going to click down here to go to the plan view. Then we're going to come up here and click file. And then we want to change the file types here. So we're going to change those down to step. Then we want to double click the spider web and then go ahead and say OK here. Spider web comes in. We want to do control minus to zoom out. Now we want to do control, uh, control A, or actually we need to select. I guess we have to drag a mark here on that. So make sure everything is selected and then come up here to fill. So we want to go ahead and fill that. So we're going to go ahead and pan over. Now we want to come in here and get rid of one of these that we don't want. So it's going to basically hold down control key and we're going to get these. We don't want those. Or actually, you know what? We probably could just sink those down lower and sink everything else up higher. Let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, keep these for now. Uh, we're going to go to uh, isometric view. Let's do control minus to zoom out. We're going to go ahead and go to pull. We're going to select the web on top. And then we're going to come over here on the options and we're going to select from both sides. And then I'm just going to try 10 millimeters. 10. Uh, it doesn't seem to be wanting to pull this. Let's go ahead and try this again. Hmm, that's a little odd. It doesn't seem to want to pull this. Let's try one way. I'm not really sure why that's not working. Hmm. Let's see what we can do here about this. Let's click everything. Do a both side pull. Okay, there we go. Alright, so we are going to have to get rid of these. So let's go ahead and uh, select in here. Hold down control key. And just go ahead and select all of these. Once we get these, we'll go ahead and um, we'll get zoom in and we'll get the ones closer to the inside. I guess if you wanted to keep these, what you could do is create two parts, uh, create uh, this outside part, and then create the um, the web on the inside, and then you could do other things if you wanted to keep those. Okay, so let's do a control plus, get these little pie shapes. Or actually they look like a little pizza slice. Let's get those out of there. Delete. Let's come up here to our uh, our uh, views and go to uh, isometric. Control minus to zoom out. We're going to get our select. We're going to select everything. And we're going to go to pull. Pull change that to both sides. Let's see if 10 will work now. Taking a minute, but it's working. Okay, so 10 millimeters is good. We'll go ahead and go to there. We'll make sure that our coaster looks good. Okay, let's control plus. Looks all right. Let's go ahead and I want to put a fillet on here. So let's go ahead and uh, Click till everything is selected. I want to actually add a chamfer to this. Let's see if we can do that. And we can. 
let's go ahead and add a let's undo that let's do 40. Oh, actually I don't think it was 40 let's just try four. Oh, four four is way too much uh, two two is a little too much too I'm just gonna do like 1.5 okay that'll be good okay this is gonna be our, uh, our coaster spider web coaster we really don't want to do anything else to it we're just going to keep it like this let's control minus let's go here to the uh, isometric view the only other thing I might want to do is uh, save this out as an STL maybe bring it into Rhino and add a maybe like a, an orange color let's go ahead and try that let's go ahead and save it as the native file I'm going to call this web Go ahead and save it on the desktop. And then we'll do a save as and change file types there down to STL. And then we'll go ahead and hit save. Now we're going to minimize that. We'll grab our, uh, our STL file and we'll bring this over to Rhino. Go ahead and hit OK there and OK there. Let's go to the perspective window and let's uh, do a control A and then we can come over here and just click the plus sign. We can add a uh, <clears throat> plastic and then go ahead and click on the color there and then we'll just add an orange, make it kind of an orangey color. Now we need a right mouse click there and assign to objects. Then we come up here to view. We're going to come down to the ray trace render window and we can maybe spin this a little bit yeah I like that orange I was gonna put a wood texture on it but I think the plastic orange looks good now we're gonna go over here to the uh, rendering and then we're gonna come over here to the uh, backdrop solid color click that window there and then we're gonna give this a kind of a dark gray color click OK <clears throat> now we just need to let this go <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> uh, normally goes all the way up to a thousand but um, I generally take the picture when I think it looks looks good it doesn't have to go to it necessarily go to a thousand if you have a fast computer that will go pretty quickly and we're already up to almost 300 here so I typically go about halfway maybe to 500 okay it's at 500 now so just don't do any changes because if you come up here and you do change something or you go over here and move some it'll start all over again so just let it go until you think it looks okay and when it does on your keyboard uh, you have a Windows logo next to the alt key you want to hit that plus shift plus S as in Sam so you, you hit all those three keys together and then you're just going to click and drag where you want the image to be and then um, it's going to give you a little snippet and you want to go to paint so you'll uh, load up your paint I don't see it there so we'll go to search and then we'll just put in there's paint down there okay so go select paint click there we'll do a control V as in Victor and then we'll go ahead and crop it just hit the crop and then we do a file save as save it as a JPEG and then we could just call this a uh, Spider Web 2 on the desktop and we'll hit save. Okay, that's going to be the end of the, our tutorial on how to create a uh, Spider Web uh, beer coaster. Okay, we'll go ahead and close that. And we can close this and not save changes. And then we don't want to update. And then we'll go ahead and open up uh, Design Spark. And then we'll come over here and do our, uh, our final view here. We can maybe come over here and go to the uh, isometric view okay we'll view this at top and then we'll end the tutorial there okay uh, hopefully you enjoyed watching and you got some useful uh, tips out of the video and as always thanks for watching